hi again, Hedgehogs and Bumblebees. There was another request for another story, which followed on from this one. So Lombi is not here. He's now decided this is his favourite story, I think. So should we see what he thinks of the next one? This one is The Gruffalo Child. The Gruffalo's in our story again. I wonder what might happen in this one. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell us, Dad. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? Oh, I can't quite remember, the Gruffalo said. Then he thought for a minute and scratched his head. Hmm. The big bad mouse is terribly strong and his scaly tail is terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire and his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. And that's how the mouse looked. One snowy night when the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bored. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave, so she tiptoed out of the Gruffalo's cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild into the wood where the Gruffalo's child went the Gruffalo's child. Aha, aho, a trail in the snow. Whose is this trail and where does it go? They tell Pope out of a log town house. Could this be the tale of the big bad mouse? That's the end of the, the mouse's tale, do you think? Out stood the creature. His eyes were small and he didn't have whiskers. No, none at all. You're not the mouse. Not I, said the snake. He's down by the lake eating gruffalo cake. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Aha, oh, marks in the snow. Whose are these claw marks and where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out of a treetop house. Could these be the eyes of the big bad mouse? Down through the creature, his tail was short and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. Woohoo, not I, but he's somewhere nearby eating gruffalo pie. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the gruffalo's child. Aha, oh, a track in the snow. Whose is this track? And where does it go? Whiskers at last, and an underground house. Could this be the home for the big bad mouse? Do you think this is where the big bad mouse will be? Not sure. Out slunk the creature, his eyes went fiery, his tail wasn't scaly, his whiskers went wiry. You're not the mouse. Oh no, not me. He's under a tree drinking dr Gruffalo tea. It's all a trick, said the Gruffalo's child, as he sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in the big bad mouse. Do you think he should? But here comes a little one out of his house. Not big, not bad. But a mouse at least. You'll taste good at a midnight feast. Oh, it looks like the mouse has been building a snowman. It doesn't look like a snowman, it looks a bit like something else. Let's see. Wait, said the mouse. 
Before you eat, there's a friend of mine that you ought to meet. If you'll let me hop onto a hazel twig, I'll beckon my friend so I am free. Did his friend die? The Gruffalo's child unclenched her fist. The big bad mice, so he does exist. The mice hopped into the hazel tree. He beckoned, then said, just wait for me, silly. Out came the moon. It was bright and round. A terrible shadow fell onto the ground. <gasps> Do you see the shadow? Who is it? Who is this creature so big, bad and strong? His tail and his whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous and over his shoulder he carries a nut as big as a boulder. Looks a little bit scared now. The big bad mouse, yelled the Gruffalo's child. The mouse jumped down from the twig and smiled. Aha! A hole. Prints in the snow. Whose are these footprints? Where do they go? Whose footprints do you think they went into? I wonder, I wonder. The footprints led to the Gruffalo cave, where the Gruffalo's child was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored. And the Gruffalo snored and snored and snored. That was a little bit of an adventure, wasn't it? The end. Thank you for listening, Hedgehogs and Bumblebees. I think that Romney might now have a tube up his ass. See you soon.